Hey everyone, so I'm just checking how good my wife did over here. So she t dissed this up the other day when we were shopping for gems. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, that guy is serious. He is moving down that road. Hmm. Never seen a Massey around here. A newer Massey, I should say. Let's get to it. Think we could catch up to him? Man, he is flying down that road. So, I don't know exactly. He must be uh, bailing corn stalks or something. I don't know what you would be bailing this time of year unless you have a real late crop. So, all of our crops are in. We are good for the year, thanks to Jim. He came by and uh, he uh, harvested our last of our corn. Now I need to go help Jim, so for whatever reason, Jim put off harvesting his uh, soybeans until later. So I don't know why, but that was up to Jim. So we will get headed over there, so we're going to help him harvest the last of his soybeans. Start my trusty old GMC up. So we're going to head down here to Jim's, so he still has that uh, harvester demo, that new class combine. So the dealership is supposed to bring him down a uh, draper head or some type of uh, grain head. Don't know exactly when that'll be, but we need to get his head, draper head, ready. Uh, I don't, I believe his 9R is still in the shop. I don't think it's out of the shop yet, but I don't know. His, uh, I think he needs to still pick up his grain truck, so he had one specialty ordered or something, or he found another truck similar to what we were looking for at another spot. So I know he wants me to go pick that grain truck up. I believe we are going to be harvesting right here in this field. I hope so anyways. So he still has a few more fields around here. Uh oh, we got a like this. We got one of them, a new uh, case with a grain trailer on the back. Everyone's active harvesting around this area. All right, we'll pull in here. So it looks like he still has his uh, corn heads hooked up to his harvesters so we'll have to unhitch them Ooh, looky here so we ended up getting a uh, blacked why well, I wouldn't say this is blacked out but it's sort of blacked out it's a red cat so I kind of like the looks of this it's a longer semi so it, it, it worked good for pulling trailers and everything kind of matches his uh, his uh, Ford 9000 here a little bit I kind of like that uh, satin black and that satin red, if you want to call it. Uh, it's kind of a flat. I don't know if it's... It's not satin, it's flat. I don't know why I was saying that, but it he looks like he got it all blacked out in the normal chrome areas, except a few. Got the steps chrome, top, the rims chrome. Not a bad looking. He's got a uh, Wilson Pace Setter trailer, so uh, I think Jim made out on that whole ordeal other than I'm sure his insurance is gonna go up because of the villains around here but uh, he definitely got a nice truck let's go find Jim wherever he's at alright so uh, Jim says he's gonna go drop me off and I'm gonna go pick up his last uh, truck he, he ended up getting so we'll have three trucks I don't think we'll need the last one for soybeans because he still has some corn which he's going to need it for but we are going to be harvesting soybeans but he wants it back here at the farmyard anyway so he's going to go take me in over to pick that up let's get in his new uh ford truck here start heading off here so jim did they ever catch that guy or what they didn't do they think he's a local, or is he just out of town, or... They still know, huh? Hmm. 
You would think they'd be able to track that, uh, this, uh, Chevy K30. You would think that would be a different truck. You know, they would be able to track that down somehow. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I thought I just saw that going by. Huh. Odd. See that truck? Or I see that tractor and, uh, grain trailer everywhere. So we are in, uh, Jim's new Peterbilt. So this is a grain truck or basically a dump truck he purchased. So he kind of liked his old setup. So he ended up uh, getting another setup similar. It's just a different truck. So instead of having the cat, now he has his Peterbilt. Kind of not a bad looking uh, Peterbilt. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, there's that baler going again. Man, I've seen that baler all over the place. We are just headed back to uh, Jim's farmyard here. What? What? Is that that truck? Oh, I got it. I'm gonna... Oh! Oh, man! Oh, I'm gonna turn around here quickly. Oh, man. I got this big truck and trailer. I'm gonna follow that guy. I'm gonna catch him. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Man. I know that's a truck. No, there can't be that many trucks around here. It's got to be the truck. Oh, man. Oh, I got a lot of ground. Oh, where did he go? I'm going to call. I'm going to call the local uh, PD and try to see if uh, I'm going to tell him I saw him. And this Route 66, it's got to be around here. Yep. Looks like he's long gone. Man. It just aggravates me that we can't find that person. Whoever it is. Almost like they're teasing us driving around that truck. You would think they, once they found out everyone's looking at that truck, would just hide it in a barn somewhere. What we got here? 7R? Oh, uh, looks like some type of manure spreader, slurry spreader. So I'm going to get this back at Jim's finally. I'm going to tell Jim I, I think I saw his uh, vandal, too. I, I don't want to get his blood pressure up, but he needs to know that I uh, possibly saw it. I did call the local PD, and they, uh, they took a description and location of Pat and a uh, route of travel, but I don't know, I mean it's so hard once, you know, they get here I'm driving this big old semi, not like I'm gonna run somebody down in it. Alright, so let's take a look at uh, Jim's new ride. Now, he got it all blacked out got a little uh, a green accent on it or something kinda looks nice so this is another triaxle. So this is a dump wagon. Pretty good looking uh, truck, if I have to say so. Uh, you can see the big cat under there. I'm not gonna open the hood because it's running and uh, Jim's in a hurry. But uh, he also got a Wilson trailer. This kind of matches it, if you look. So, you know, the tarp on this Wilson trailer matches the accent of this truck. So it's kind of... I don't know, I, I kind of like the looks of it. You guys will have to let me know, but I think Jim uh, made out, that's for sure. So this is one heck of a truck, I think. Uh, I kind of like them all blacked out uh, straight tip with a little uh, 45 degree uh, bezeled uh, mufflers on there. It just looks bean in my uh, opinion. I'm just really worried about hitting them with a grain car. Unloading auger, that it might might happen. So I'm going to have to be very careful when I'm unloading because that's the only thing. It's like, uh, but at least with them so high up like that, you don't have the issue with it blacking out your uh, your back of your dump wagon and everything if you drive it for long periods and not wash it. 
pretty good looking truck, I think so. So, uh, I think... I don't know where he wants this parked at. We'll find somewhere to park it off to the side so we can get his, uh, yeah, his heads off here. Jim just wants me to take this to the field right away. I don't really know where is a good spot for the wagons to, or the grain cart to offload on these. Hmm, I'm gonna have to decide. Possibly down this road over here. Might be a good area. I have to see if we can turn around or not here. Uh, actually, this is pretty bouncy. I probably won't. This is kind of have some deep holes in it, so I think I'm gonna go on the top of the hill on his old corn ground. Put it up there. All right, so I left his uh, truck parked here on the top of the hill. Jim looks like he's here to pick me up, so we'll ride back with him. Hey, uh, Jim, do you know that I'm pretty sure I saw that uh, truck again? Not positive, but it it, it was very similar to the first suspected victim. Yeah, I, I, I called the police department, and they took down the information, but I tried tracing them, but I was in that, uh, your, uh, Peterbilt, and that thing, it, it can run down them, uh, roads, but I had, uh, I was going the opposite direction, and by the time I got that around, turned around and everything, you know, he was nowhere to be found. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. Alright, so we gotta get this corn head off. I don't know exactly if this is going back, so I think I'm just gonna put it right beside this building here for now. I, we don't have the trailer, so the dealership brought the trailer back. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'm gonna have to just put it on blocks. What? How do you get up here? Is there like a remote somewhere where the ladder comes down? I mean, what, 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 where do I get up on? There we go, I found it. I guess there's just some switch you have to hit. All right, let's start this new beast up. All right, I think I'm just gonna leave this head folded up. I believe you can leave it folded up to store it. It's definitely the footprint is way cut down on it. Yeah, we'll leave it right here. Alright. So that is down, so that is good to go. So I think uh, Platte Valley is just going to meet us at the field, so I'll just uh, leave this running right here. Start this older class up. So it's older, but... Uh, I don't know, I, I think I pre prefer this old uh, color over the new color, but I guess uh, class is trying to get back to their traditional colors. Class, that is. All right, we'll drop that head off right there. Well, I think I'll be pulling the draper head with my truck, so we'll just uh, drive this to the field. All right, so we got this harvester. I had to pull it over there to fill it up really quick. Jim said that we're waiting. He has another hired hand he's going to try out. So I need to get the draper head hooked up. What? What the? What the heck did he do to that beautiful Chevy? What? What? Where? Where are you going? What? What is going on? What? What? Why did he just park under that overhang? What the heck? I mean, the to me, if it didn't have low pro tires on it and it wasn't uh, uh, lime green, that wouldn't be that bad of a truck. But. All right, to each his own, to each his own. 
four three quarter ton Chevy there. I think I'll uh, stay with mine, stick with my GMC. So I need to get this hitched up. Old Jim and his new hired hand are talking in there. I don't know about him. He's not, he, he didn't make a good first impression. Let's just say that. All right, I got the Draper head hitched up. Uh, Jim's gonna take that new 8900. And uh, so that is uh, Billy. Or, oh, Billy's gonna run his 780. Ooh, I don't know about Billy. Alright, so uh, Billy's taking off. Jim's in, in front of him. Uh, Alright, there you go, Billy. Get the move on. So we're gonna follow him to their field and I'm gonna help Billy hitch up to the draper head. Billy is supposed to be running the grain cart. Uh, I know Jim is still down uh, basically his 9R but uh, he said the John Deere dealership's gonna let him borrow their 9RT just to try out, because I don't know if that 9R is going to be fixable. So we're going to get that hitched up to the grain cart, and I guess uh, old, uh, Billy's going to be grain cart for us. It's good, because I wasn't up to not being able to harvest with uh, a second hired hand. I'm going to drive right here and put the draper head on. Billy. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, hitch this up here. Connect that. Gotta unfold this. Alright, so that's unfolded. So we should be, this harvester should be ready to go. Of course, I got to adjust it, calibrate it here a little bit. All right, let's see if everything is running. Yep, seems to be running good. So we did already uh, change these two harvesters over, so they're not that hard to change over. And now we're waiting on Platte Valley. While we're still waiting on Platte Valley, I'm gonna take uh, Billy over and I'm gonna take him over to pick up the 9R T, should say 9R T, and we're gonna put it on the grain cart. So this looks like we're gonna be borrowing this one or demoing it, I don't know exactly what, but his uh, 9R is still in the shop right there. So we're gonna borrow that one for the day or a few days just to test it out. To see, I know Jim is trying to go to track, so I'll drop Billy off. So I need to go uh, basically take his other cat truck to the field, so I'll go do that quickly. All right, big beast, time to put you to work. Yep, Jim liked his other cat truck, so he decided to get a semi. We'll let this, uh, the air build up quickly here and then take it to the field. Looks like, uh, Billy's showing up over here. So I'm gonna help him get hitched up to the grain cart. And then he could take that to the field. Alright, there goes Billy. Good old Billy. So at least I don't have to drive grain cart for a day. That's a plus. Ooh, man. It's a cat. Turns a little wide, just barely made that turn there. So we're gonna fall Billy to the field here. And the tires are big on the back of that grain cart. Giants! I hope Billy's run grain cart before. I don't really want to have to uh, train him. Alright, so we will go get this thing parked behind his other grain truck. Alright. Looks like we're still waiting for uh, Platte Valley to show up. So 
we get started over here on this uh, soybean field. Alright, looks like Platte Valley finally showed up, so we're going to get this head cart, or the header, off of the cart here. So it's kind of nice cart here, looks like one of them uh, dual steering carts. Pretty nice, wish we had one of them. Alright, so Platte Valley wants me to run this here quickly, so I'm just going to make sure everything is calibrated and run. This is the first time we're running this thing, or the first time this harvester has been run in soybeans. Got to make sure our cows are all right. Start up the separator and the head running. Here we go, cutting in. It looks like, what, about 80 bushels per acre over there? Uh, not too shabby for Oregon, that's for sure. Not gonna be a bumper crop or the best in the county, but be uh, a blessing, that's for sure. Jim decided to go down to the lower field. I'm going to continue on this field. This field was kind of too big for two harvesters anyways. I got this big 45 foot, oh, I'm missing a little bit there. I got this big 45 foot draper head, so uh, yeah. Uh, it's a little bit harder for uh, two harvesters to basically go on this field. This field is not that big, and it, it's basically, let's say, very unique si si or uh, shape field. It's not the normal up and down, so he's going to go to the lower field. Yeah, you can see him over there. Don't know exactly what Jim was doing. Looks like he came back and uh, ended up coming. Looks like he was started on the second headland. I don't know what he was doing over there. He's the boss man, so he could do whatever he wants. And uh, we just have to uh, follow his lead. That, it is kind of hard when you're driving a grain cart for Jim, because that guy, one, you can't hardly understand him, and two, is he uh, kind of has a mind of his own when his he's running the harvester so you have to like contemplate you got to think of you basically got to be in the mindset of Jim and that, that at times can get kind of hard to be honest so running down here right now so so both of these fields are right next to each other so uh, with my big hopper bin, I might be able to harvest this whole top of this field before I need to unload. Uh, old Billy, he's over there running the grain cart. I'm sure he's not going to have to do much, really. But we'll see if he has to unload Jim or not. Got some rocks over here, so I need to be very careful I don't suck one of them up into the draper head. It's a bad thing about draper heads, they can uh, suck a rock up. The old auger heads, they basically get caught in the head, possibly, or you'll definitely hear it go through the head, so you have a quick, you can quick turn off the separator and try to prevent getting uh, the rock sucked up the combine, but Hopefully the rock trap, if you're not quick enough, catches it. It's like Jim sure is leaving a lot on the corners. Probably have to go clean that field up for him. Jim is making a mess over there. Yep, gonna have to clean that all up for Jim. Man, good thing he's a boss man and not a hired hand. Kind of odd, this field is definitely way higher up than the roadway down there. So this field sits on a pretty uh, high contour, uh, basically soil up here. So we've got a lot of, kind of sit higher and can definitely see a long distance and everything. Basically harvest almost, uh, what? What? That's that guy. I'm. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna shut this off. Where's my truck at? I'm gonna go 
and try to run him down. Jip! Jip! Oh, man, he's running down there. Oh, man, I gotta go. Come on, truck, start up. No one wants to start up forever. I want to drive you. All right, I gotta get... Oh, man. Oh, man, he's so... Don't know if I could catch up to him. I gotta take this... Oh, that... Yeah, got it. Oh, man. I don't know. Can this GMC catch him? Man, he was moving. Ugh. Man, that guy got away again. Oh, watch out. So, almost got in that guy's way. That guy's hauling a lot of grain with that uh, new case. Looks like Jim's still running over there. Man, I just can't believe that guy's got away from me twice today already. Better get back in the harvester. I know Jim wants to get this harvest done. I'm going to have to go uh, call the local PD and tell him I saw that Whoa, 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 whoa. Took that a little bit too fast, but go park this on the edge here. Looks like he got away again. Man, never gonna be able to find that guy. And there's that guy. He must be hauling to a field or something, spreading that. It's going again. Start this thing back up. to move on. Gotta finish these fields up. I am gonna get them little bitty uh, stragglers over there in that field right there. Alright, I'm gonna call the local PD and uh, report that uh, sighting. This guy is back hauling, man. He must be hauling to the elevator or something. Poor guy has to haul with his tractor. Guess that thing does move pretty quick though. Wonder what Billy's doing over here. He looks like he can just uh, relax all day. He doesn't have to worry about hardly unloading these harvesters with these big grain tanks. And I don't think Jim is on his first fill up yet, so I'm still about halfway to go. Looks like my back of my window is about half or almost covered up there. Still got a little bit. Definitely got to be on the lookout because this field has got some rocks in it. You can tell by all like the places where we dropped the rocks off we found. I mean, look at that rock over there. That's like a BMW sitting in the field right there. Giant rock. I'm gonna have to hurry up. Jim's gonna beat me. This field is actually bigger and he has a smaller header. Size is supposed to matter. He is uh, really booking over there. I wouldn't have seen old uh, the Vandal over there. I probably would uh, be beat Jim, but takes me a while longer, but two times around this field, you're basically two-thirds done, so. Looks like old Billy's gonna go and unload. Jim, I don't know what Billy's doing over there. Oh, whoa, whoa, Billy. Billy! What, what, are you, what are you doing? Oh, man. Appears Billy's going to unload, uh, Jim. Man, I'm sure glad he didn't hit my draper head. That guy has got some issues. Hopefully he knows what he's doing because uh, what he just did there didn't look like he knows what he's doing. I'm going to finish this little sliver we got on this end. Probably go and clean up after Jim after this. And there that guy goes again. That guy is hauling a lot of grain with that low bitty grabby wagon. I don't know if we can get this all in the second round or, or the third round, sorry. This, just going to go around and around this field. I do have to go around one island. Looks like we might have to have a sliver left afterwards. Looks like uh, 
old Billy, he's gonna go over there and uh, unload Jim, I guess. Looks like Jim uh, just finished. I hope he's gonna plan on uh, cleaning them uh, corners up over there. I'm not gonna clean everything up he uh, basically made a mess by. The last little bit of this two fields, so it looks like we are all done. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.